Morning, morning. We're in a rush again as usual. We're going to have some photos taken of um, the wee babby. Bear with me a second. There we go. Hi, Peen. Having some breakfast on the run. Yeah. Good. He is aware he's got cream all over his face. Oh yeah, sorry, I've got cream all over my face. I'm trying to sort out my stupid face. Um, so this isn't a fashion thing, so don't everyone go out and do this. I know I am quite the trendsetter, and you all might want to copy my trends, but <laughs> not this one. <laughs> um, anyway, we're late, so be more vlog in the car. Yeah. The Brit Vlog. Nine cat approved. So we're on the way now. Um, Archie's quiet because he likes the car. Like, I think there's only been like two occasions where he's cried in the car. He always goes to sleep, so it's it's quite nice. Um, he did have loads of food like not long before he left. So. But also revelation. Oh, we're late. Because of me. Um, not because of me. Yeah. Because of me. Uh, because. I didn't know we were even going anywhere. Yes, you did. No, Told you yesterday. No, it was a potential arrangement. Pencil in was not set in the concrete. There was not a formal memo issued telling me that we were going to. I replied and said okay. Minecraft. Minecraft! So getting him off the computer is like impossible. Mm. That's why we're late. Uh, no, not late because of that tall. Yeah. You didn't even tell me we were going at what time. You so did. I knew we were potentially going. I told you last night. No, you never said what time. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You did not say I what did. time. I did, I said 12. Well, if you said, I wasn't listening and that's no, your fault. No, because you don't listen because you're playing blimmin' Minecraft. No, if you actually clearly tell me or email me, I don't actually miss the information. That's breaking. Then. I know the van's breaking. <laughs> I can argue and watch the road at the same time. <laughs> anyway, we're going to what basically is the family photographer now. This <laughs> We've adopted him. Yeah. He did our wedding. Um, he like, he is a photographer. He does like cars, like. He, well, his career was in car, car photography. Really. Yeah, and he does lots of like photo shoots for cars and stuff. I think I found him like on Gumtree or something when we were. Um, looking for wedding photographers after we discovered the extortionate prices of wedding photography. Disgusting prices. There's no reason for it. So, like, I thought I can find someone that, like, does it cheaper than this, surely. So, um, we found Simon. He'd done, like, a few weddings before and everything. And he was really good. Um, and, like, not extortionate. Wedding photographers, you are expensive. So does anyone want pictures of everything or anything in Gloucestershire? Simon Cook. Google yeah, because he's now, he did a um, photo shoot of our parrots. He's done the flowers for me. And now he's doing baby. Here we are, we're doing some photos. He's sort of playing ball-ish. He's calm now. He's calm, he was quite he angry earlier. And screaming, but... Um, calm down the boom. He's doing well now, yeah. Good little breastfeed and then he's... Uh, a bit better. I'll get some photos of him. He's a little man. He likes being naked. He doesn't, he's never really, he's always got clothes on him. Bless him. Finished now, as you see. That was very good. He was behaved. Um, well, he was a little dodgy at the start, but then um, he, was, he was very good, wasn't he, Peen? He was. I was a bit, a bit concerned that he was going to settle, but um, after a bit of milk, and he, then he got stripped off and he was quite happy. And he was very, very good, actually. Some lovely pictures. Well, well not on this one, because we won't get them probably in for a day, a few up. days. <laughs> um, uh, we will we'll try and post some pictures at the end of the next vlog, or whatever. Um, yeah, some of our favourites. Yeah, he was, he, was, he was a good boy. He was very good and very impressed. And it's a lovely day. So Here's luck. Going Look to at visit the blue nanny. sky. Great nanny. Great nanny, blue sky. Still my nanny, though. Yeah. Archie's having now. some nums. Right, I'm going, on here. I'm going on to check the menu. Mm. <laughs> oh, I think that'll be meat. And it keeps on going back to the home page. It's very annoying. It's not the home page. Well, you know, that's it's the start of the menu. Oh. It's a PDF. Oh, Derp, I use yeah. computer. <laughs> ah. Anyway, we're going out for some noms to a new pub franchise we haven't been to before. It's very exciting. It's very exciting. Yeah. Archie's having his dinner. He's excited. Oh, he was fast asleep. Aww. And we were like, he'd been asleep for quite a while. The midwife did say not to let him sleep more than three hours in a day because you've got to try and get the circadian rhythm started. But um, the who rhythm? Everyone's just got bored. <laughs> the what? We had to get circadian. 
had what? to get him out. What's a circadian? Oh, in English, not Latin. I've been to an arcadium. Oh, the phone's ringing. Phone's ringing. Phone's ringing. <laughs> phone's ringing. <laughs> Hello, pizza. Can I take your order? Ah, he knew straight away. Steve did. He knows what's going <laughs> oh, he on. Wants nanny. Anyway, here you go. I'll pass you over. Apparently there was more to this very exciting story, so sit back, Tune you know, get some popcorn, super Tune, exciting. I was saying that we had to wake him up and he was fast asleep and it took ages for him to wake up, bless him. He was like proper floppy and he was like flopping his arm. Yeah, it's funny we do that. <laughs> we changed his nappy and he was still asleep, bless him. But anyway, I thought like I would update you because the last time... I think we were a bit fraught on the blog, I think, right? Was it a few days ago now? I don't know, I'm bored of holding the camera, sorry. Oh, that's a shame. I'll talk for longer. <laughs> um, but he, um, we were quite fraught with all the feeding frenzy and constant feeding. Wednesday, I was basically having a nervous breakdown. Uh, I had like no sleep, I was like yeah. awful. Um, but he has, the last couple of days has seemed to settle. So fingers crossed, um, he's getting a bit better now and he's out of the growth spurt and everything. He's stopped, stopped the cluster feeding and we think he's been like struggling with a bit of wind. So he's got some Infocol, which we're trying. Less about um, Aiden's anymore about Seems, to be, seems to be okay and I am more sane. You get something done. Are you excited? I'm excited, we're in a new, we're in a new restaurant and pub thing, brand, chain. Franchise. Thing. Yeah, I'm having a burger that's like this tall. Well, it's this tall in the menu, but I'll probably be like this tall when it comes. Well, I'll tell you, the salad and everything. It might be like that. Exciting. Watching looks like he's stirring. Uh oh. No, it's gone back. <laughs> but now there's four people here that can have it. Yeah. So everybody gets so to we eat. Take turns. Yeah, exactly. We each have a bite. Mouth for each. And then we'll just pass we go it car, car, bite. What's he having? Is he having a steak? Um, yeah, for a sizzler. He yeah. ordered boob. You ordered boob? Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've ordered that for ages. Why did we get it? It's always out of stock when I get it. On buck order. <laughs> so cute. Me? Or the baby? Really busy, so I don't know how long we're going to have to wait. Oh, we can talk. You love talking. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I think they're quite efficient. Just turn it on. microwave meals. Yeah. <laughs> we shall see. I think if you think about it, though, the actual menu is not complicated, so that's always a lot easier, isn't oh, it? Oh, but the massive buck chips. Yeah. Yeah. So they just keep churning it over. Yeah. Over. So if you look at them anyway, you'll see that a lot of it, it's all, you know, you've got your beef, yeah. burgers. Your, your steak, yeah, your chicken, exactly. that basically makes up most of the menu. Back to the baby. So Archie, you want to go large on the curly fries? Okay. Right, so, um, sorry we didn't um, get a chance to do a sign off um, for the vlog. Um, I think by the time we got back and sorted Archie out and everything, Gosh, honestly, the amount of time it takes um, to do anything is just like, I don't know. <laughs> like um, the other morning, um, we got up, and I'm usually up fairly early <laughs> with Archie. So I was feeding him. Um, I think I got him dressed. Yeah, and I thought, oh, I better like um, think about like trying to settle you for a few minutes so I can get ready and everything. I look at my watch and it's like half eleven. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> it only seemed like an hour had gone or something. Um but yeah, so the time just like flies. Um so we're just settling Archie down for the night. Aiden's um giving him his bottle. We're still carrying on with the last feed as a formula, which just seemed to be working. Um he's not been too bad he's still suffering some days with the colic which is really sad I like to see him like he's obviously got tummy ache and stuff which is very sad um we are now trying gripe water because the infocol didn't seem to really be agreeing with him and he does actually seem better on the gripe water so persevering with that and last night he actually slept for seven hours i woke up at five o'clock this morning in a panic because he hadn't had me up in the night so I had to go check he was still breathing and everything um, and I've developed this 
um, this technique for winding because I've had sick in my hair like so many times. Um, this sort of prevents most of the sick from going in my hair. Um, so anyway, I shall say good night. Um, Aiden and Archie also say good night, and we shall speak to you soon. Bye.